Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel because I've had a few new subscribers this past week. Welcome, my name is Tracy and I've been following Slimmer World for about four or five months now and every week I try to bring you an update of how I've managed in the past week, what's worked, what hasn't, what I could do more of. I try it anyway. I usually film the video and forget everything that I want to say. That's usually how it goes. But this week has been really good. The week previous was really good as well. I stuck to plan all seven days and this week I stuck to plan for six days. And the reason for that was because I had a planned day off yesterday which was Tuesday so two days ago for you guys. I planned that day off because I had a little treat day planned with Ali. I find it easier to plan a little treat day a couple of weeks in advance and I find it easier to stick to plan when I'm doing that. So I do take days off or mostly I take a meal off or I'll just have a treat meal or something like that but this time I decided I'm taking the Tuesday off because I've been sticking to plan pretty well the last few weeks and I wanted to just have a nice little evening with my son when we went to see Avengers Endgame. I mean it was a pretty big deal going and seeing the last Avengers movie. And I just want to say, I go to the cinema quite often, I have an OD and Limitless card, so I can go to the cinema whenever and wherever I want to see whatever movie I want. So I have been to the cinema quite regularly recently since I got that card, but I usually do stick to plan when I go to the cinema. It was just because it was a big deal for me, a big movie for me. You know, I didn't want to think about how I'm going to stick to Summer World. I didn't want that to be conflicting with my need for naturals while I watched Avengers Endgame, to be quite honest with you. So anyway, I stuck to plan for six days. I uh, said last week in the video that I was going to get weighed in on Tuesday, but it was actually Monday. For some reason, I was thinking I can go to class any day, but there was actually no classes on a Tuesday that I could go in and get weighed in. A few weeks previously, my class had actually been changed to the Tuesday and I think that's why I was getting a little bit confused about it. But there is no classes on a Tuesday, so I had to go and get weighed in on Monday. And I forgot to take my book. So, I can't show you what my weigh-in results were, but we'll come back to that later. A couple of things that have happened this week that have made me feel all good about my weight loss and my Slimming World journey are People have started to notice. Somebody had seen me in the street, out walking in the street or shopping or something and had seen Mark's gran and they'd said, oh I saw Tracy, I saw Tracy the other day and she's lost a lot of weight. So when that message got relayed back to me, I was like all swanking and stuff. Oh people are starting to notice. My dad has gave me another few comments. He sees me quite often but he's like, you're looking so much healthier than you did a few months ago. But that's also because A, I was just dying with my back a few months ago and B, because I am probably looking a lot healthier. And the best comment that I've had so far was on Saturday when I took Callie to the football and we were talking about, we were just having a little conversation with my dad about Slimming World and Ali's comment was, you're starting to get Brock Lesnar legs, mum. And I was like, <laughs> what? But if you, well, none of you will probably be wrestling fans, but a running joke in the wrestling fandom is that Brock Lesnar, who's also been a UFC fighter, he's just this hulking, hulky a brute. He's massive. He's like not even got a neck because his muscles are so built up and he's just like quite scary and intimidating looking really big on top. But his legs are like little pieces of string hanging down from this big massive bulky body. So when Ali said that I knew instantly what he meant but my dad was all confused like what the hell is he talking about but I thought it was hilarious. So what Ali is basically saying is that I'm getting little skinny legs and while I didn't appreciate the comparison to Brock Lesnar I did appreciate that was Ali's way telling me that I'm slimming down a bit and that he's started to notice even though he lives with me 24-7. So those were my little non-scale victories this week all those little comments and even though I'm not doing this for everybody else I'm doing it for me, 100% I am doing this for me because I don't feel confident in my body, I have no body confidence, I don't feel comfortable, I just felt like a big whale. When I started my Slimming World journey I felt just like a beached whale. My dad used to have this reference to when I was lying on the sofa or something calling me a beached whale. Yeah and that's exactly what I felt like at the start of the year just before I started my Slimming World journey, a beached whale. And another non-scale victory that I had this week is I went shopping yesterday when we went to the cinema yesterday, I popped into Primark to get, because I needed some trousers, I needed some trousers. Even though it was maybe two months ago, I bought some new leggings and stuff. I had 
no other trousers that fitted me and the leggings that I bought a couple of months ago they were baggy as hell they were like trousers on me not leggings and a lot of the clothes that I'd kept that I'd hoped to fit into again they were also too big for me you'll probably remember me mentioning that in a few videos ago so I popped into Primark and I got some new clothes and I'm actually now two sizes smaller than I was in January when I started my slimming world journey so that was a massive victory that was I felt ace yesterday when I'd managed to pick up those smaller size trousers. They were size 14. I thought it would be a 16 and that still, but no, I'm fitting into a 14. And though that's just the biggest victory yet so far actually on this journey is that I'm buying smaller clothes and I'm not looking at plus size clothing anymore. So I did get myself some jeans and I never got any tops because I never actually seen any tops on Primark that I liked or that I would feel comfortable wearing yet. I had a few Disney t-shirts that I did want to buy, but they were quite short. They were like cropped style and I wasn't convinced I would be comfortable wearing them yet. This week I am going to go and get measured for a new bra. I probably said I was going to do that ages ago but I'm definitely doing it this week. I'm going to get measured for a new bra because I need a couple of new bras. I'm literally down to one that I can wear comfortably and even that's too big for me. So this, this is my target for this week to go and get a new bra. And actually, while I'm at that, I'm going to have to check my swimsuit size because my swimsuit was also from Bravissimo and it was measured to fit my bra size and that's probably going to be too big for me as well and I do want to start going swimming because the weather I was just about to say the weather's getting better but it's not, it's freaking miserable and cold today but I want to start doing swimming and I'm going to need a swimsuit that fits I can't go with one that's too big for me because I'll pop out of it so basically I'm having to do my whole wardrobe from scratch so when you start Slimming World you think I'll buy new clothes when I get to Target a whole new wardrobe but you look forward to it getting all those clothes to fit your slim body in and things like that but it's not as simple as that because you you have to buy things along the way because quite quickly within the first month or something my clothes were getting far too big for me and things and you have to buy little bits along the way and you have to keep buying little bits along the way so for people that are maybe just thinking about starting somewhere else just be aware of that that you're going to have to buy clothes as you go just go to Primark don't spend a lot of money another thing that I pointed out last week was that I hadn't done much walking or that but this week I did I've done a big walk on Thursday a three well I say big walk it was three miles and I was going to the dentist to get the tooth out that's a whole other story but I went to the dentist to get the tooth out but that's in the neighbouring village to me and I would normally just hop on the bus because it's like literally two minutes on the bus it's so quick it's about a 30 minute 30 to 40 minute walk and I decided that I was going to walk there and back I wasn't looking forward to the walk back up because it's all uphill from the next village to me which is Newton Grange all uphill and it's not even just like a little raise going up it's like all uphill like that but it was fine it was fine I wasn't even that exhausted when I came back and on Saturday again I done the walk from the football stadium where I drop Ali off to meet my dad and I walked back to my dad's house that's three miles I have found that when I have a purpose or somewhere to go the walking is so much better because before I was doing it for the sake of doing it, for going out a walk, I still walk the dogs and that, but Diego doesn't do big walks. He's more of a likes to run about the field type dog and chase a ball. He doesn't mind walks and things, maybe the odd long walk, but he's not, he's, he's just an old dog and he can't really manage big walks. But myself, I find when I have a purpose for walk, like I'm going to the dentist, so I had a target in sight and then I was coming back and then I was going to my dad's things like that and this week I'm going to my mum's and usually I get my stepdad to pick me up from the train station that's probably even a mile by the way it's probably not even a mile from their house to the train station my stepdad will normally pick me up but this week I'm just going to walk there and back just it's exercise I need exercise you can lose weight on Summer World without exercise but you need to try and do something to help it I believe anyway and even walking little walks or getting off the bus earlier things like that those kind of things help. The problem that I have where I live is that I live on a hill at the top of a hill and oh my god just the thought of coming up that hill just makes me sweat and I probably don't even sweat as much when I actually do the walk but I'm just like I don't want to do it and in the next couple of weeks like I said earlier on I want to start getting back into swimming I'm going to try and do at least one swimming session a week and when I get a swimsuit sorted out so I do want to do that I want to get two walks in a week and one swimming session that's my target for the next couple of weeks maybe not get that in the next week I don't know I might I might it depends when I get a swimsuit and that sorted so like I said I went to weigh in on Monday 
and I never took my book. I totally forgot to take my book. I had my card though, so it has been logged on the Slimming World computer systems. So there is a record that I have lost weight this week. And I lost one and a half pound, which brings my total weight loss to one stone, 10 pound. I am so close to two stone. So close. For six days, I am really happy with that. I mean, it's not 100% accurate because every week I've been weighed on a Wednesday at 11.30. Same day, same time, every week. This week it was Monday morning at 10.30. So it's not 100% accurate, but it still shows that I've lost weight. And I'm really, really happy with that. I can't argue with that. I can't be disappointed or anything in that. Sorry, I had to scratch my eye there. But how can I be disappointed that it's losing weight? It doesn't matter what the figures are, as long as the figures are going down and the weight loss is going up, if you know what I mean. My total weight loss is going up. There's not really much more I can say about the weight loss because I'm, I'm fine. I'm happy with it. I'm not looking for big losses every week. I'm just looking for a loss every week. And the last thing I wanted to tell you was I'm actually not going to go to class anymore. Um, I've decided that's it. I'm done with classes. And I have spoke about previously in another video why they weren't working for me. I wasn't staying at the classes. For the last couple of months, I have just basically been going down and getting way done. And what I've been doing for the last few weeks since I actually released that video is Every time I've been weighed in, I've came home and I've weighed myself on my own scales to see if they're the same as the Slimming World scales. And they are. They're exactly the same. They, maybe the difference is I get 0.2 or rather than 0.5 or 0.8 or 0.3, something. You know what I mean? The Slimming World scales are in half pound markers and these ones are more accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just join online. It's £60 for three months, so I'm going to take that out. This is my plan at the minute anyway. And I'm just going to do weigh-ins, still on a Wednesday, still at 11.30, and I'm just going to do them myself at home. And it'll all still be logged, I'll still have all my information and all that stored on the Slimming World website. My weight losses and everything. And actually what I noticed is you still get your little certificates in that. Well, maybe not certificates, the little one stone, half stone, one and a half stone, club 10 and all that. All the markers are on my Slimming World app anyway. So I'm literally going to class for nothing. I could do it all at home. I could still do it at home for free, which is actually what I'm going to plan on doing after this three months has expired. I'm hoping that I'll get some trust in myself that'll stick to it when these three months have expired. But yeah, I'm, I'm now going to do Slimming World online and I'm not nervous about it. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago or something, when I put the video out was when I had it in my head that I was maybe going to do it. I was still nervous about it, but now I'm just, I'm totally fine with it. I'm done with the classes. They're not being useful to me in any way and doing it all at home is just so much easier. So I think that's everything that I need to tell you about this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you're following the Slimming World journey or you're doing a weight loss journey, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye!